everyone, this is Carolina here. And today I wanna to show you how to create a digital notebook. And I also wanna show you some examples of um, how to use it in the classroom. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do is show you the one that I made for my uh, seventh grade class. Um, and the way that I set it up is I added uh, different tabs here for different um, things that I want the kids to do for the class. The first tab is a set out, which is a do now. So when they come in in class, uh, they would usually see questions on the board and then they would um, answer those. So here's a space for them to do that. Uh, the next one is vocab. So they have here a table for them to add the new vocab that I introduced. I also added a little box on the bottom with um, the accent so they can just copy and paste them when they're doing that. Um, the next part is a grammar section. So here they can write notes, the new grammar that I introduced, and I added a conjugation chart as well. This one, um, I usually give them a packet for them to fill out and practice uh, certain words. Uh, I'm playing around with this and uh, just setting it up. So I put the picture of the packet in the back and then I add um, little boxes for them to fill in and I can show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a different video. And then the next thing is culture. So I just added a space for them to add culture. And then the last thing that I included was helpful links for them. So here, um, and again, just the idea that if they're here already, um, I go to helpful links and then they just click and go to the different resources I have for them. Uh, this is just a, a folder I made for them with other information or things they need for the class. Uh, I have the Google Classroom linked. Um, their Canvas page, uh, quizzes we use a lot in class, and uh, a list of all the quizlets they need for the units. So that's how I set mine up. So now I'm gonna show you how to create your own. Um, and I'm also gonna include uh, in the video, in the description, a link to this one. So this is one they already have made and you guys can use it or change it um, and just to get you started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open a new Google slide. And uh, you don't really need these templates here. So you're just gonna click that off. Um, you want to then change the page setup. So you're going to go to file page setup and we want to change the um, dimensions of the page. So I'm going to write uh, eight and a half by 11. And then I'm going to get rid of this. Um, and I want to show you guys something. So usually you can uh, pick different layouts. So these are layouts are already set up for you. What we're going to do to create this notebook is we're going to come up and design our own layout option. Let me show you how we do that. Okay, so to do that, you're going to go to slide and go edit master. And I really um, love that you can do this. And I have another video about uh, using master slides to uh, do drag and drop activities. Um, but I really think it's great uh, for you to create a lot of interactive activities with your students and I'll show you why. So I'm just going to open a new one of these and going to get rid of this. And what we need first is to look up a pattern for a background. Um, I looked this up already and I'm just going to use this one, this example here. I think it's cute. Um, so all you do is you're gonna copy and paste it here. And then we want to uh, turn it over. So you wanna go to that little button there and just kind of make it a little bit bigger. So I'm actually gonna make it this big. And then I'm going to just crop it a little bit. To do that, you just double click and you see this black arrows here. And you just move it because we want the space here for the tabs. Okay, this looks nice. Um, I'm actually gonna, to make a little, we wanna make these edges more rounded. So to do that, you wanna click on it and you see this crop button over here. Uh, you're gonna click on these arrows and you're gonna have options of different shapes that you can crop this to. Uh, I'm gonna use this one here. And once I press, this is what happens but um, it's a little too much. So we wanna take this yellow dot here. Oh, wait, I didn't get it. 
um, using this yellow dot, you're going to just drop this down to just kind of make that shape there. That's pretty good. And then I'm actually going to drop a shadow to make a little, give it a little more dimension. So I'm going to go to format, format option, and hit drop shadow. Um, actually, I'm going to just make it a little bit uh, bigger. You see there on the bottom how it changes here. I think that's pretty good. So now we need to add a spine to our notebook. So I'm going to insert a text box. And just drag it here. Well, that's pretty good. And again, you can adjust it. Okay. And then I want to change the color, maybe add a little bit darker color to this. Um, so let's try, see what this looks like, that's pretty good. Um, and again, you can play around with it and change it up however you want. Let me just make this a little bit gray here around so you can kind of see it come up. Um, and I want to line it up so it's perfectly aligned with this. So um, to do that, instead of um, just moving it with the arrows, which moves it a lot, you want to hold shift and then move the arrows that um, moves it only like a little bit at a time. I'm actually going to drop the shadow as well with this to kind of just make it uniform with what we were doing. All right, let's see what it looks like. Mm, I need to move it a little more. Let me just kind of line this up. Okay, let's see. And again, um, you can play around with this and just make it perfect or make it uh, look however you want and just make it so you like it and that you're happy with it. Okay, so let me just keep going just again, just to show you what else you can do here. So then the next thing is you want to insert um, the label so then you can put your name. So you're going to go to shape. And I'm going to use this one. So here, let's set this up. I'm just going to, I'm just going to make that transparent for now. And I'm actually going to duplicate this. And I'm going to add, um, just like make it into a border. Let's see. And then here's what they would write their name. Gonna line it up so it looks nice. I'm just gonna highlight that in black and actually make it the lines a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe a little more. It's three. Okay, that's pretty good for now. Um, and again, you can play around with this and just change it up. All right, so then uh, I'm going to just do a title for this and uh, add an area for them to write their name. So we could just call it um, Spanish notebook. And I want to center that. Then you want to pick maybe a font that's a little bold. Just play with this one. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so uh, then I'm actually going to add a little box just to write a uh, name and then add a line for them to write it. So I'm just going to put nombre. And um, you can add if you want the line here. If you don't want it, it's fine. Um, and then let's just kind of change the font again. Um, just put that for now. It's fine. Okay. And again, uh, if you want to add something else like uh, class or section, uh, if you have different sections um, that you teach, you can add that there as well for the students. Okay. So this is again my title. Now we got to uh, add the tabs. So I'm going to go to insert shape. I'm going to use this one. Just 
going to put one here. And uh, I'll actually drop the shadow for this too. We'll change the color. We'll pick a nice color for this. Maybe. Um, let's see. Actually, I'm going to crease out that one. How about this? All right, we can leave that one. And I'm going to make this just transparent. Um, I'm actually going to bring this back so it's tucked in under, like if it was inside the notebook. I'm going to just, just a little bit bigger. Just drag it out a little more. Okay, so again, I have this is what it looks like right now. In the drop shadow um, and then I'm going to duplicate this so control D and one more time control D to add another one I'm just going to show you an example with just three of them um, and again you want to line them up and you want to click on these two and send them back okay and then here we want to change that to another color. Um, let's do this yellow one. And then maybe this one, and again, you can decide what you want to do here, but I'll just put another blue like that. It's fine. Okay. Um, so now you want to add the text box for you to write um, what class is this for? Okay, I'm gonna bring this up because I can't see it now. I'm just gonna put unit one for this example. And we'll just center it. Change the font. Um, and then we'll make this one bold like that and just a little bit bigger. And then you, um, Wanna flip it so it's this way. Now you actually wanna line this up so it covers the tab, and I'm gonna show you why. Let me make this a little bit because I know the tab goes under. And then um again you duplicate that and we'll change this one unit two and then unit four. I mean three. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. So we'll switch out to two. And this one to three. Did that work? No, just work. Oh no. Okay. Go back. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here we have our tabs. Um so then what you want to do. Uh, now is you want to create uh, well actually let me show you what it looks like here so if I go here and I want to insert that I'm going to go to apply layout and then you'll see this that you create it as a layout option uh, and the great thing about it is that students cannot um, move this uh, so when you create stuff in the master slide it kind of becomes like a background so all right so now we're going to add the dividers so we're going to go back to edit and we'll add, okay, I'll just do it in this page. So here you're just going to go to insert and uh, text box. Oh, actually, no, let's do the same shape. So let's go to shape and add this one that we used. And again, just want to flip it. And you want to try to get it as much as you can, as similar to what you had. Um, get rid of this just up here, remember. And then we're going to adjust these. Okay. And we'll add, um, actually, I'm going to add the tab. So we want to add this first tab here. And it's usually the writer, you would see the tab there. Um, and I'm actually going to leave it in the front. And here, I think it was this color. So I look the same. Um, yeah, I think that's it. 
and we'll drop a shadow as well here. Okay, let's say kind of just lines up. Mm, let's say actually we can make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Okay, so again, here you have your tab that kind of pops out. And we'll just take um, this one here that I'm using and I'll kind of add it uh, here. This one. We'll make this the other tab. And let's see her yellow. We'll add this one. Well, okay. Get that out. <laughs> I'll do that again. I just selected too many things. Okay. And then here we'll switch the color. So we have this other divider. Um, yep, that's what the gives us. Okay, perfect. And then the last one. Okay, I'm just adding. Making these dividers, and then again, I'll just copy this. Hopefully, I'll miss it like that. I believe so. Okay, so we have our tab set up. So, once you do one of these, um, it's a little bit easier to create another one because you can just um, copy and paste things. Mm, I think that's pretty okay. Okay, so here we have our tabs. Now, we want to link these. Uh, to these pages. Now, before we do that, we're actually going uh, to go here to add the tabs that we created. Um, and the first one again, apply layout, and you'll see these set up for you. And then another yellow. And then we'll add the blue and keep that order. So now, just so you know, anything that you can do here, you can also do in your master slides. Um, so I could link things from the master slide instead of linking it um, from the main page. Um, so we're going to take this and we're going to go to insert and you're going to go to links. And you're going to go to slide number two. If you want to link it to that divider and you press apply. Um, now there's a shortcut for you to go to linking things. You just press Control K, and so now we're linking this to slide number three. Apply, and then this one again, Control K, and we're linking it to slide number four. Okay. Oh, let's see this. When this shows up, it's gonna okay. it should, it should still be link. Nope, for some reason that did that. Um, okay, let's try that again. Apply, perfect. Okay, so now if you um again we're here and you tap um on this, if you're set, set up in presentation mode. This should link to um, each of these dividers. Now you don't have something right now to go back to the cover page, so we want to add. Um, it could either be a box or you could use anything to do that. Um, I ended up looking up this picture that um, just like a back arrow. So I can link it. So I'm going to copy and paste this into um, in here. It's a little big. And you will just um, link this. And you can put it wherever you want. I'll just put it here for now. And again, Control K. And you could just link this to the first page. And press apply. And then you can just actually take this, copy and paste it into your other slides here. 
Um, you can also actually add this through the master slide. So if I want to make sure that kids don't move this, which I'm actually going to do that <laughs> so it stays there. So I'm going to go to, again, insert, um, wait, just kidding, not insert slides. It is master, and I'm going to just put them here. That way they don't move it. Uh, okay, so these are, again, your tabs set up, and now you can actually go back and just, let's just test it really quick. So I'm going to go to percent, and let's see. And go back. Perfect. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a clear layout. So I'm going to go to um, apply layout and I'm just going to ask blank page. And what I ended up setting up here with um, my notebook was I just kind of did this um, top area to add the back button as well as a place for them to write the date. Uh, and as you saw in the one that I created for my class, I just added more stuff specifically to get them organized. So all I did for that is I added a text box here. And um, I just put the color to match what I had in the divider. So I keep forgetting, I think it's this one, yeah. And just see where else we go. Oh. And then I inserted another text box for them to write um, or to write the word date. Um, get back that white. Can just hit this clear. Mm, let me see. Yeah, that's fine. And then this is fecha, which is date in Spanish. And um. You can align it. I'm trying to see where my aligning. No, yeah, that's not it. Um, so again, you can set it up wherever you want. So I kind of just want to center there. And then I'll just change the font to kind of make it all uniform. All right, so then I have this here. And then you could just take this. Um, tab that you had here. I think I still have it set up to copy and paste, maybe. Yeah, there it is. And again, you can put it wherever you want. Um, I just put it on the top here. Now, I didn't make this into a master slide because this is, um, I'm just setting it up so a place for them to edit. Um, and again, you could do this however you want. And then you could just take this and copy and paste it in here and then just change the color to match uh, your other ones. Oh, I keep picking their own colors. <laughs> and then one more time. And your blue one. Hmm. I think this blue is a little darker. This, this blue. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is um how you set it up. Now Again, there's a lot more stuff you can do. I'm going to make a video again or things that you can add uh, and how to kind of digitalize um, the stuff that you already have and add them to your binder. Uh, but this is kind of the setup you want to follow. And here, um, again, you'll see the example I made. And I'll add this to the comments. Uh, I mean, to the description. And that's all you need to do. And again, one of the things that I like about this is um, for kids to really stay organized. What I found last year when we went remote, uh, or even when we were in school, kids would just create a new doc and then they would just um, write like five sentences on it and never name it. And that kind of just created uh, a mess in their drive of different docs that didn't have names and just had maybe like five things written on it. So I think this will really help the kids this year to get organized and just to keep everything in one place. Uh, so I hope this helps, guys. Oh, um, another thing that I'm going to do actually the first day once uh, I share this with them, the way you want to share, you want to make sure they each get a copy, their own copy, because that's where they're going to be editing and creating their work. 
And what I'm going to do is just going to give them the opportunity to decorate the front of it so that they can take little stickers and add them in there. So they can just copy and paste. I'm going to give them a few and then they can look up their own stuff and then they can just add it in and decorate their cover. Um, and then that's it. I hope this helps. And I hope that um, you guys uh, have a good year. <laughs> and that you can use this to get the kids organized. All right, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon.